my prints start with an idea. Sometimes I've already seen the image that I'm going to do, so I bring my cameras to the site and take photos. Other times I have an idea in my mind and I seek to find a place that will replicate that idea. And the other way, when I travel in Europe, I go searching for ideas. and I take lots and lots of photos and then decide later when I return home what will or will not work as an image. After I've selected what photo I'm going to use as the center image, I then make a drawing. The next process is that I have filed the edges and rolled the coating on that plate. When I then tape my drawing in reverse over that coating and using a very hard pencil, I go over every line in my drawing. This helps to break the coating on the plate and allows the acid to etch the plate. I then make a print so that I can see what the lines look like. Aquatin is the, a very important part of the printmaking process. It's what holds all the color on the plates. And the Aquatin starts originally with rosin from trees. These are my Aquatin test plates, and I use these when I figure out how the color is going to go on a print. And this is just one for one color, and actually, I etch a couple shades lighter than this, but it just shows the range of color. And the kind of way in which, the way in which I use them is that, let's say I like this color green. And if I etch 19 minutes of yellow on the yellow plate and 19 minutes of blue on the blue plate, then it should be about this color. When I start to etch a plate, for instance, the yellow plate, I first paint out all the parts of the plate that are not going to be yellow. Then I begin the etch, stopping eight times to paint out the parts of the plate. The longer the plate is in the acid, the deeper the etch, the darker the colors will be. I etch all three plates in a similar fashion, and I ink from light to dark. The reason that I am an intaglio printmaker is that it involves the processes of painting, drawing, photography, and technical means to create a colorful image that has texture and movement. The first print is sometimes more of a disaster than at other times, but nevertheless it implies work to be done in the future. There is also a time in the creation of a print where the final product takes over. When you start a print, you may have an idea in your mind of what it's going to look like. And basically, you do carry some of that idea through the print, but at some point in the etching process, the image itself takes over, and you have to sort of go with what you have rather than what you originally conceived of and try to make it look as good as possible.